Hey everyone! So today I want to talk about B12 deficiencies. Um, so I started noticing some symptoms of B12 deficiency about a year ago. I wasn't vegan at the time, but I had low iron, I was drinking way too much caffeine, and I was stressed from just moving to a new town, so just a lot of changes were going on. I didn't know at the time that it was a B12 deficiency. I just had some symptoms um, like low iron, um, recurrent cold sores, low energy. Um, so just recently, when I became a vegan, I learned about B12 since that is always the thing everyone's like, you're going to be deficient on B12 when you become a vegan. So I researched it a bit and I was like, wow, I've had a ton of these symptoms when I was eating meat. So <clears throat> anyway, I thought I would look into it a bit more. So just a um, quick background about B12. B12 comes from good bacteria in the soil. We need it. We need just a little bit of it. Um, but our soil has become depleted from bad farming practices, chemicals, sprays, all that kind of good stuff. And it has killed off a lot of the good bacteria that we need. So um, organic produce, you can wash it minimally to get some of that. But a lot of it is just not on there anymore. Um, I've also heard that people who move from India to North America get B12 deficiency right away because their produce is so saturated in it, where ours is just so full of chemicals, it kills it all. So that was really interesting. So a little statistic here, 50% um, or more of people living in Western countries are B12 deficient, and 50% of the population is definitely not vegan or vegetarian, so it's definitely not just a vegan or vegetarian issue. Um, here's a little study I found. Vegans using adequate amounts of fortified foods or B12 supplements are much less likely to suffer from B12 deficiency than the typical meat eater. So it's both meat eaters and vegans. <laughs> so now that we've got that sorted out, here we go. So some symptoms of B12 deficiency are fatigue, low energy, dizziness, tingling in hands and feet, bad digestion, nausea, premature aging, uh, anemia, which is low iron, poor memory, reoccurrent cold sores, Reduced sensitivity to pain or pressure, blurred vision, sore tongue, hallucinations, and personality change. So if B12 levels stay too low or too long, symptoms can become permanent. Um, and that can be, the permanent symptoms can be like nerve damage, coma, or even death can result. So that's pretty scary. B12 is really important. Um, okay, and then B12 is really, really important too if you're pregnant because it can cause birth defects if you're too low in it. So, um, and it's also really important if you're breastfeeding for your own health and for the health of the baby. So babies get their B12 from the mother, so low B12 in babies can result in slow growth. So as you can see, it's really, really important and that's why I was concerned. So can you get your B12 from your food? Yes, you can, but it can be a hard to absorb through your digestive tract. Um, yeah, a lot of people have absorption issues from just past stomach issues like say Crohn's or just drinking too much coffee, just anything that would prevent um, nutrients being absorbed in your intestine will prevent you from absorbing vitamin B12. So a lot of people have a hard time getting it from their food. So um, what people can do is just like take those sublingual pills that you put underneath your tongue. And I did take those for six months, but I haven't really noticed them helping. So I'm doing something else now, which I will talk about in a minute. So some vegan sources of B12 are soy milk, some of those vegan fake meats, which I don't like eating because they probably have other crap and too much salt in them, and nutritional yeast. So I do eat nutritional yeast and I do buy soy milk from time to time, but I'm not a huge fan of soy milk. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the, I was taking those B12 sublinguals and it didn't work that great, but some people do find they work great. So if they work, you can try them out before, um, you do other means, but, um, I didn't find that they worked for me. So I actually have been getting, well, I just started getting B12 injections. So when I first heard about B12 injections, I was like, that's creepy. Why would you like shoot up? B12, like it sounds like a druggy kind of thing to do. But then I researched it a bit more and I, I realized it's just a vitamin, like it's B12. You're not like, I don't know, getting like speed in your system or something. I don't know, it's, it's just not, it's not something to be concerned about. 
So even though it's not like natural to get a needle, like that's why I tried the sublinguals first, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give them a go. A lot of people have found that they work so well, so there's no like mercury or weird things added to it. Um, and there's no side effects. If you take too much B12, you just pee it out. So I was like, okay, I could probably do that. <laughs> so first I went to the pharmacy and I was like, I heard you could just get it over the counter. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy it over the counter. It'll be cheap. I'll just get like a nurse friend to inject it in me. So I went to the um, pharmacy and the only kind that they sell there is called cyanocobalamin, which is, I probably pronounced that wrong. But I've heard that that is not the best type of B12 to get. So I was like, no, I don't want to get that stuff if it's not going to be good. So then I found a naturopathic clinic in my area that um, does B12 injections and they do methylcobalamin, which is a better absorbable form of B12. Um, so anyway, I went there and I got my first shot last week. Um, they do B12 as well as like a B complex with it. And she was telling me that they give it to like pregnant ladies all the time and stuff to help their B12 levels. And it can also help you if you've had low iron, it can help your iron um, get back up too. So I was like, sweet, let's try that. So I had my first injection and it, it did hurt a little bit. Like they injected like kind of on your bum, like hip bum area. And I was like, damn, that hurt. But like your leg kind of feels a little sore for half an hour afterwards, but it wasn't that bad. And so they were telling me that um, if you are deficient in B12, you will notice like a huge um, increase in energy, a uh, better mood, and basically you'll feel almost like you're on speed. Like you'll just feel so full of energy and like a different person if you're deficient. And that's exactly how I felt. Like right after it, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel positive. I feel motivated. I'm like, ready to conquer the world, I want to go swim, I want to go run, I just want to, I don't know, do anything active, I felt great, so I was like, I haven't felt like that in quite a while, so I was just so happy about that, I'm like, I must be deficient in it, so from now, I'm just going to try and cut this short now, I'm getting blabbing too much, but, so I'm going to go back right now every week for a little bit and just get my levels topped up, and then after that, I'm just going to go back once a month for a while until I feel like I'm topped up. I might get a test done too. There's a urinary like, it's called like UMMA or something test that you can get done to actually get your B12 levels checked. But um, some people don't get them checked. They just get the injections because um, they notice that they're low, like they have all the symptoms. So they're like, why not? But some people get the injections and they find that it does nothing for them. And so if that's your case, you're probably topped up with B12 and you probably don't even need them. So Anyway, I really benefited from just like that one injection, so I'm going to keep going back for a little bit and just see how it goes. So, uh, let me just make sure I covered everything I wanted to talk about here. Yeah, I think that's it, really. Um, I'm going to make some more videos on B12 and just tell you how it's going. Um, I'll talk maybe more about the symptoms that I was having with B12 deficiency and um, tell you if they've gotten better along the way. So, so far the main one, like fatigue, low energy, um, it has really, really improved that. Like for a couple days afterwards, I was feeling really good and I still am actually now feeling pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, I'll try and make another video soon and um, talk more about B12 deficiency and if some of my symptoms have been cured. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Have a good day. Bye.